Hey guys, <clears throat> here we are back on Wind Chaser. Uh, we finished all of our plowing and cultivating, and uh, uh, we're in the early stages of planting. Uh, we went ahead and rented this uh, large air seeder to help us with our canola. And. Um, the reason why we're putting down canola is because we have herbicide A in this field and that's the only one that uh, like her, uh, herbicide A is detrimental to the yield of, of um, wheat and barley. So that's why we're putting down canola in. Uh, we have such a large amount of soybean and corn, well more corn than soybean, but we have one point, almost two million liters of corn. And um, about 640,000 liters of soybean. So, hopefully, like, planting um, this field of canola, we will uh, manage to get a better price on canola and uh, relieve, relieve the economy of so much grain. Even though our growth period is, you know, four days per growth stage, and there's like four or five growth stages, it's, it still takes, you know, that time plus, plus some to... Uh, get prices back to a reasonable amount. So I've had this mod forever, this air seeder. <clears throat> uh, not the prettiest looking thing. It's you know kind of rigged together in Giants Editor, and you know there's no brackets. It's, they just added an extra wing, but you know whatever. It's not really designed to be the best looking mod. It's designed to be a get shit done mod. So um, I had a John Deere. Um, with cart, but that had a lot of scripting errors and it was just kind of a train wreck, so a little bit more work than I was willing to put into it, so I just stuck with this. Like this one says it's spraying and seeding because it actually puts down fertilizer, but since this is soil mod, it's like I don't actually know what you're spraying because it's not it's not any of the, you're just putting down seed, so it doesn't actually fertilize with soil mod. The only way that would be possible is if the cart was separate.
So, <clears throat> anytime you're renting like this planner, for example, or anything, like every time it, you're done with it and it goes back, like it disappears after your rental period, um, all the fuel, all the seed, all the fertilizer that you have in it, it you don't get reimbursed. It um, just disappears with the machine. So that's why I didn't fill this cedar all the way up because I don't actually know how much canola I'm going to be putting in. Um, but a good trick to use is your seed calculator, seed usage calculator. Um, it goes by fruit type. So we're putting in canola. So it, this field takes about 23,000 liters of canola. So about 11,000 dollars worth of seed that way you know you're not filling your cedar up too much you know let's say this was the last field that you wanted to do just to make sure you don't have any residual seed left over because you're just throwing away money extra money at that point <clears throat> Because it costs like 10000 to fill up the cedar and seeds. So. capacity of a sprayer is a lot less so you wouldn't um, lose as much because you can only fit so much in a sprayer. We're like these big bulk fill cedars that can hold 20,000 liters. It's So it'll be interesting uh, bringing in this extra crop. Um, basically, this whole east side of the farm is going to be draper work. 3, 44, 17, 18. It's all going to be uh, mostly all soybeans, and then this is going to be canola. So.
Uh, so this will be our fifth season. <clears throat> uh, fifth um, harvest season. Since we started, we picked up this field, 17, 18, and 1, and 13. Look at the map, 1, 13, 17, 18. We started with 2, 3, 44, so slowly but surely we're growing. Hopefully we can pick up two more fields, like a 29 and 34, or like a 26 and so on. And... Uh, we're probably going to hold off on buying any more equipment and just rent. Just because it's actually cheaper to rent than it is to actually buy. You know, it only costs a couple grand as compared to a couple hundred grand to buy something. You know, I can rent a tractor, <coughs> rent a tractor for four thousand versus buying it for four hundred. So. So it's a great way to like, um, change up your crops too. Like we just had that large corn planter and we didn't have any money for an air seeder, so we just rented one for a day and getting everything we need to get done. Really hope that herbicide A works out with weed prevention. I think I'm going to start another save game and uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to keep playing on this one and try to get uh, to be as big of a crop farm as I can. We'll probably end up buying another farm on the other side of the map and storing some equipment over there or like buying a transport, either like low, low loader uh, trailer to like transport equipment between farms. Just cause I um, <clears throat> want to farm some some other other fields, get a different change of uh, scenery.
buy some um, other sheds. So I think the last time I used this heater was with the T9700, which I haven't used that in months since I got the Cat Challenger and the Deers. So it's, it's kind of been forgotten about. We'll still always have a place in our hearts, Old Blue. see so many people playing with my old Leet uh, uh, New Hall with the ATI tracks. That was one of the first edits I've, I ever did in Farm Sim and it was slippery as heck. So. It's just kind of funny watching people use like old, old leftovers that I don't really care about. I'm just going to go ahead and save. I'm 
in this one we will uh, 44 starting corner southeast go north let's do two headlands last calculate our course this will take Seventeen thousand liters. We're gonna have to come down here and top off our planner quick and go get some more. Oh shoot, that was uh, That was for canola, so we'll use less with soybeans. So. We're looking for soybean. We need seven thousand. So we still need more seed. through the trees here. Right? We need about a thousand more liters of seed. Plus we can even fill up our uh, DB planter. Wish you, after you're done using a rented mod, it could just be like return, <laughs> return early, so the stuff is out of the way. Um, during our corn harvest, uh, we bought, I bought another corn header and just rented another combine. So. We're gonna have to rent a new draper and combine for all this, all these uh, grains and soybeans, canola and soybeans. So. Two, two, one, and thirteen will be corn, I think. Because we have forty-four, eighteen, three in soybean, seventeen canola, and then. Well, maybe I'll do two as soybean, and one in thirteen as corn. I don't have to refill this cedar again. Let's 
Glitched out. 